So, you want to be a thunder monkey? Hey, who doesn't? Get in line, buddy. But you can't just be a thunder monkey. You gotta start off as a donkey bitch. You gotta start off as a donkey bitch. The camera was uneven. So I advanced another stage in the convict conditioning program. You don't have to be a convict to do this. You just, you have to want to be one, I think. Is that, is that the point it said? So I'm gonna show you hands down the most awkward exercise I've ever done in my life. I can't believe this is a stage. And it's so I'm afraid to break my back. I don't know what's gonna happen, let's do it. You're a mystery with a mission so critical You didn't come to this earth to act political So all my workouts are based on the convict conditioning program If you want to buy it Link is down below You can buy it in my affiliate link How come I never thought of doing that? I'm here promoting the shit out of this book And I never thought, oh I could make a link I can make 10 cents on every book That's gonna add up That'll add up. So thank you so much for buying the book. Until my program comes out, which will be a blatant ripoff of this book, but I will make it more entertaining and better and easier to follow and remove the hard steps that don't make any sense and improve it in every way and not get sued somehow. That'll be fun. So some of these stages are actually really tough. It took me six weeks to pass the head bridge, but then I moved on to the half bridge Beat it in one week. Moved on to the full bridge. Beat it in one week. I am flying through these bridges now. So I'm on to the wall walking down bridge. What? The goal is to stand with your back to a wall. Try to find it first of all. And you're like, oh, okay. And then slowly walk yourself down until your hands are backwards on the ground. And you look like an elephant having soccer practice with a gopher family. Hmm. So let's see if I can do it. I'm going to watch the video at the same time as you. So I don't even know if I was able to do it. I'm finding out for the first time too. So basically you're supposed to be about an arm's distance away from the wall. So this is what I did. I walked up, put my arm on the wall. And so I'm about that position. Then you turn around and it's like, okay, let's see if he can do this. So you're supposed to warm up first with your easier sets. I'll talk about the warm up after this. So you reach back and there it is. He's reaching back and then you walk yourself down. Now here's where I started to panic. <laughs> I was like, okay, this doesn't feel natural. My hands were getting a little sweaty and I was like, what if I slip? What if I slip here and die? I could die, so I panicked. I abandoned it. I was like, I was thinking here, I was like, can I find a cushion or something? If I fall on my head, I need a pillow. So I was gonna go get like a towel or something, but then I summoned my inner thunder monkey. And I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna do this. Do I say like too much? I'm like a teenage girl. You know, like, like, okay, we'll stop that. So second attempt, we go for it. We're just like, okay, we're doing this. So as you get further down, you kind of have to inch forward with your hands or with your feet sometimes. It's so awkward. See, you have to like scooch forward, but I made it down there. I made it. And then you lower yourself slowly. And that is one rep. That is one rep. So you get up and you do it all over again. This is no joke as a workout. It's like this full body thing. I was sweating, my heart was pumping. It was hard, it was hard. But the goal is two sets of 10 on this. Now this first set, I didn't know what the reps were. Usually I look it up before I start. So I had to go look it up and see how many do I have to beat here. So the donkey bitch stage is three reps, then the power squirrel stage that's six and six that's six and six and then the thunder monkey stage is ten and ten two sets of ten so i'll manage to get ten reps on that first set so like i flew through it 
I felt like I had the strength to do that. It's just the flexibility is the question and it's scary. It's, you gotta make sure your hands aren't too sweaty because you could slip going down that wall. We got the wallpaper here, that helps with the grip. But be careful, maybe get some gloves with the rubberized grip because that is freaky. You don't wanna fall backwards onto your head. That's not gonna help you with future math solving problems. So second set, we went for it. We're filming here on the Sony X3000 wide angle lens. I'm thinking of getting a wide angle lens for this camera. So it'll be much more high quality. So now my fear was banished. I knew I could do it and I did it. I just went for it. I got, I think I did more than 10. I kept losing count. My brain, my brain is stupid. Doesn't have enough pig nutrient seven. If I had that one, I'd, I'd remember the numbers as they were going, but I didn't. So I think I did like 11 or 12 just to be sure. So like this was no problem for me whatsoever. I mastered it, I conquered it. So I went to my chart here, which I encourage you to make. You can make this in Excel. This will be in my ebook when I complete this all. I'll make this little chart for you. You can fill it out. Although you'll have to just do it yourself anyway, but I'll, I'll give you the bloop, 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 bloop. So now what I do, I go to my little chart and I fill it in. So I was at the bridge and it was red. I was a donkey bitch step incomplete zone. And I changed it. Thunder monkey step complete, boom. Next step up, incomplete. That is next week's workout. So. Hey, I know it's a lot of workout videos I've been making lately, but I keep progressing in the stages and I want to show you the new stage every time. I'm too strong for my own good. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. The vegan diet is too adequate. So the next step is going to be the wall walking up bridge. That's going to be interesting. I know I should be able to do it but maybe not, maybe strength going up is gonna be a lot. It is harder and there is less reps to do. It's eight and eight. So we'll see what happens next week. Now for the handstand, let me set the scene here. It's been seven weeks since I started this exercise. The goal is two minutes on a handstand with your feet resting against the wall. So I've been trying this for seven weeks. The first one I got was a minute and then I kept beating it by 10 seconds, 10, and then five, then five. As you get harder up, higher up, it gets harder, and that sucks. So last week, I only beat my last record by two seconds, and I was starting to get worried that I wasn't gonna progress in this ever. The goal is two minutes. How am I gonna get there? I don't know. So to make things even more interesting, the last two days I've eaten nothing but fruit. I'm 100% raw fruitarian right now, eating two meals a day in a four hour window. So that's been interesting. So I'm a little worried about the lack of protein. Will I have the energy for the workouts? Will I recover? Will I lose muscle? I don't really care that much. I always prioritize health over muscle and I just wanna heal up some minor things once and for all. I'm tired of breaking out in zits. It's like I shouldn't be breaking out so I gotta clean up the gut with some fasting, flush things through there, and I'm finally doing it. I came to Thailand to test out the fruitarian style, and I'm doing it now. So welcome back, raw foodists. And this is what I'm doing. So surprisingly to me, I got a minute and 45 seconds this time. So I beat last week's record by eight seconds. That's the biggest leap in a long time. I was shaken. I was shaking like a, a geriatric seizure in a grandfather of seven, but I made it. I've made it. So I'm almost there. I still feel like I'm a good three or four weeks away, but we're gonna get there. And then we can finally move on to the half handstand push-ups. Raise that roof, homie. Don't raise it. It'll be a leak. So it's been an interesting journey, this working out. I started working out two years ago and I got like four rib injuries. So I took like four months off. So technically I've been working out for a year and six months, but it's not like it's been optimal 
I'm still focused on healing the body. So it kind of feels like I'm painting a dirty cement floor to make it look nice. That's what I see my body as. It's like, I'm not ready yet. I'm not fully healed in the gut area. So like I shouldn't even be working out hard and trying to gain strength because I have a lot of stripping down to do in my opinion. So I wanna strip down, do this 30 days, see what that does to me. If my skin just clears up and my gut feels so good right now, if that continues and just, I wanna flatten out all inflammation cooled. So if I have to strip down and get skinnier and then start this program again from scratch, I don't give a shit. I just, I kind of want to completely heal this time. No more messing around. So I'm going to continue working out and try to progress and see if I can progress with the fruitarian style. But if not, I just, I keep working out and not beating my records and losing motivation. That should be fun. But I will heal the body. And that's what's most important to me. I love hearing these comments of people that are starting the convict conditioning program. I love that I'm motivating or inspiring at least a couple people to start doing some strength-based stuff instead of the cycling vegans. We got enough of those. They're up a mountain right now. I can see them. They're drinking Sprite because they need the sugar. They need the sugar. So I just, I love hearing your stories. You guys should make videos from the start. Make this spread. Make it spread like wildfire of muscles, muscle fires. So I very much look forward to making my own ebook and my own program, even though I'm basically copying this guy's work. But even in the book, I think I will have to just put a disclaimer. It's like this book is heavily influenced by my idol, Paul Wade from Convict Conditioning. Don't sue me. I love you. Go buy Convict Conditioning if you want to learn more. But read my book. It's better. Thunder Monkey. Monkeystrength.com. If anybody was curious, that's what I did today. So thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down. If you pinched a monkey's nipples when you went to the zoo, that's mean. What would you gain from that? Nothing. So you shouldn't have done it. So. We're done. We're done. I'm going to eat fruit today. That should be fun. I ate three watermelons yesterday and I peed a lot. That was fun. Okay, we're done. Subscribe for more videos. Get yourself an I'm a donkey bitch t-shirt. Thunder monkey shirts coming soon. And I'll see you in the next video.